IIT JEE preparation determines one of the biggest milestone of your life that is a college which you are going to get into for your BTEC. Is it going to be IIT or some tier 3 college? Well, preparation means things are going to get tough. As the days pass, maintaining consistency becomes more and more challenging, especially when time seems to slip through your fingers. And so you start looking for ways to study more in less amount of time. As that's what you have in your hands, less time. I am here to give you best hacks on how to study more in less time too. But don't you think it's more relevant first to start studying? So let's tackle the important question, how to trick your brain to start studying. Well, I am Arvind Kalia sir, Bacche Pyaar Se Bhai Bulate Hain because that's the way I see you all. And today by the end of this video, you will have some super tricks up your sleeve to start studying anytime you want and effortlessly achieve your daily targets within deadline. Chalo, let's start. In this video, I'll share three super hacks with you which are narrative hack, dopamine hack, super mario two minute hack. First and the third one are my personal favorite i myself use them a lot whenever i feel resistant to do something but it's in the second hack where you will understand the real reason behind why studying is becoming difficult day by day for you as per psychology the words you choose to tell the narrative to yourself matters the most your body doesn't distinguish between the casual or serious self-talk it just responds to the words you tell yourself. You must have tried telling yourself with a lot of urgency that hey dude, do something or you will be ruined. Koi fayda hua tha? Most likely no. Urgency behind your words doesn't necessarily compel your brain to follow your intentions. So here's the key to trick your brain. Align your identity with the actions of the person you want to become rather than focusing solely on the end result. For example, Narrative 1. If I don't study, everything will be ruined. It won't really work as it's a negative narration and it's talking of some end result which is quite far. Narrative 2. I am intelligent. I'll do great in this month of preparation. It won't work either as it's more of a fanatic narration and that too for a long term commitment. Now let me give you the narrative which will work. I'm the one who studies regularly to finish daily targets. Let me start today's work. Now that's a positive affirmation which talks of only that day and hence your body tends to follow it easily. Remember, consistent action day by day leads to progress and progress leads to finally motivation. But here's the real challenge, consistency. We are naturally inclined to do tasks that provide immediate reward or pleasure. Like using your mobile phone. It's far too easy to pick up your phone at any given amount of time in comparison to pick up a book. Now that brings me to the second hack, dopamine hack. You must have listened to interviews of many toppers. One common point that all mention about their preparation is they avoided using all sources of immediate pleasure like mobile, watching TV series or surfing on the internet. If you think they did that to save their time, well, you are wrong. Let me explain this concept through two points. Any activity where you anticipate immediate pleasure or reward like using a phone, eating dessert, surfing on the internet, etc. releases dopamine. But if your reward is little far, like in studying for a target exam, your brain releases no or less dopamine. And when you do activities which release more and more dopamine, your body starts getting dopamine tolerant. And hence activities which does not release more dopamine becomes difficult to do as your body seeks no motivation in doing that activity. Combining these two points, you can easily understand why studying becomes incredibly challenging if you are engaging yourself in the activities that releases higher level of dopamine. It's as if you have trained your body to require a higher dose of dopamine to have same feel of motivation. To break free from this cycle, you got to try dopamine detox for at least 21 days. This will help reset your dopamine tolerance, making even smaller dose of dopamine sufficient to provide you motivation. Consequently, the task that leaves less dopamine will now become easier for you to tackle because the reduced dopamine release will now be sufficient to motivate. 
get ready to tap into your inner gamer and conquer the study goals like a true champion. Let's jump in. Well, this hack creates a study routine which is both exciting as well as effective. Here's how it works. Just like a video game, start your study session with a small manageable goal level 1. Set your timer to just 2 minutes and commit yourself to study for that 2 minutes, for that time. As I usually say, just start. Rest of things will just follow if what you have started is giving you some sense of accomplishment. Now, as you immerse in those two minutes, something incredible happens. Your brain starts to get activated just like a Mario getting a power up or some secret passage. Remember, just as a Mario conquers one level at a time, you will also conquer your study material one chunk at a time. Break down bigger goals into high reward smaller goals. Like to start with, do not set the complete chapter as your goal. Break it down all the way to a single question. Can I manage to understand this concept? We can make study as easy as possible by removing the consequences of failure. Don't even think how difficult is the next concept. Just focus on the one tiny objective which is right in front of you. And do not miss out the use of FOMO effect of the games in your studies. Fear of missing out. You try to cover max stages in a day as you know. If you don't do it, your friend may do it. And get all the rewards before you do. So by implementing these three hacks, narrative hack, dopamine hack, super mario two minute hack, you will be equipped to trick your brain to study effectively. Remember, embrace the power of positive self narration. Understand the role of dopamine in your motivation and make studying a thrilling adventure like playing a game. Now that you know how to trick your brain to start studying whenever you want to, do watch this video first before you actually start solving the questions as in this video I have shared my three major learnings after solving 50,000 questions in my career so far. If you found these brain tricks helpful, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. And as always, feel free to leave any comment or questions below. So keep tricking your brain and achieve your goal enjoyably. God bless you.